Last year, we had a record temperature of 42 degrees Celsius, or 107 Fahrenheit, in Seattle. As the heat waves continued and the haze from the forest fires began to appear, as it has nearly every summer for the past few years, I've decided to escape to the land of a thousand lakes in the north, Sweden. Sweden is a beautiful country and one of my favorite places to visit. As you might know from one of my previous videos. The nature here is beautiful in a way that's difficult to explain in words, but I can say that it always makes me feel calm and grounded. For landscape photography, however, it can pose unique challenges. Often there is no clear subject, such as an iconic mountain with steep vertical drop, like the kind you find in the Dolomites or Patagonia. Still, I love trying to capture the subtle beauty of this land. And today, I've decided to add another challenge on top of this. Shooting a forest scene without fog. Hey everyone, how are you doing? So today, I'm in a forest in Sweden, in the center of the country near Lake Siljan. And I'm actually, God, look at how many mushrooms there are here. This is just crazy, it's so big. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm looking for a composition and I've decided to give myself a bit of an extra challenge today. So since I'm here, uh, I'm actually working remotely um, and I'm working full time right now. So I don't quite have the luxury of just going uh, anytime I want. And the weather has been kind of hit or miss. So I've decided to try to do forest photography without fog. And as you know, fog is normally, it's, it's critical for forest images. It really helps kind of simplify the scene. And we haven't had much fog, but the forest is so beautiful. And I want to see if I can, if I can make it work without fog. So let's see what we can find. Okay, maybe found something. This is definitely a bit of a challenge. So here's what we've got. I'm shooting this scene. Essentially there's that little tree over there. And what I like about this a lot is the tree has a much more, uh, it's kind of lit up by the light. It's a much lighter green than the surrounding forest. And uh, we don't have fog, but I'm hoping to use that difference in color or a difference in luminosity to kind of um, draw attention to the tree and have a bit of separation. We will see if it works. I'm really not sure about this scene. I'm, I'm using this foreground here to kind of have some layers going to the tree, but ultimately I'm very, very much on the fence about this one. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I took this image at f6.3 to try to blur out the background and help the tree stand out. But I made a mistake and blurred out the foreground instead, which is noticeable even after cropping. I probably should have focus stacked. I did not edit this image fully and this is just a raw file with a few minor adjustments. I figured there is value in sharing this anyway, so that you don't have to repeat my mistakes. So I am definitely struggling a bit, struggling to find a good composition. And 
this makes me think of something um, that happens very often with me with landscape photography and that is perfectionism it's it's very easy to only come out if the conditions are perfect or i tend to uh want to only come out when conditions are perfect um, and when you have a an area that you know you will get an image but i think that that's a really bad approach um, because you you miss out on so many different places you miss out on all the exploration and time in nature so i think that doing what i'm doing now and just being out and enjoying the forest training myself to get better at finding compositions i think this is a really really good thing whether or not i end up getting an image okay not related to photography but i have to show you this so look at just how many mushrooms we've got so there's one there another here and more over here there are some bad ones over there never eat those and more here this is just incredible <laughs> if you're a mushroom forager it's incredible of course always be very careful about things like that but okay back to photography okay i think i've got something here that might actually work so what i'm shooting is this path just leading into the distance nothing too special and the composition that i have is essentially it's leading you from the lower uh, lower left into the, the third on the right and we've got some trees framing it on both sides and I'm using a polarizer to take down a bit of the glare so it actually looks I think not bad here is the final image this one turned out a little better than the last but ultimately I chose once again to not edit it there is a nice path, but it leads to nothing of interest. So I just don't think there's a strong enough composition to spend any time working on this image. Okay, one more image, perhaps. So what I'm shooting here is this path once again it's winding which i really like that works much better than a straight line and it's going from the side from kind of the lower right into the uh third on the left and there's this nice tree framing it on this side and that tree kind of frames on the other side or rather uh that one there so yeah um this is looking promising um i'm focus stacking a little bit once again using the polarizer uh there's a bit of wind so i had to raise the iso to 500 hopefully it won't be too bad and yeah here is what we've got this one i actually ended up editing because even though there's no subject once again i like the way the scene is framed by the trees and the flowers Perhaps I overcooked it a little, and this is definitely not a portfolio image, but I think it's still a fairly pleasant scene. For comparison, here's an image that I took in the Redwoods earlier last year. You can see how much mood and softness the fog adds, and I do think it makes for a better image in this particular case but I would love to know your thoughts and see your forest images that don't make use of fog. So don't forget to share your thoughts or links to images in the comments.
Okay guys, so what is the answer to the ultimate question? Is it possible to do landscape photography without fog? I think that, yeah, I think this was, first of all, it was an amazing time in the woods, as always, which is really the most important thing about <laughs> landscape photography as being out and enjoying nature. Um, and I think that with light like today, uh, it's pretty cloudy, just gray skies. Um, and with a polarizer, you can get some pretty good results. Um, maybe it's not the same as having fog, maybe it's a different mood, but uh, I, I, I expected something, well, I expected nothing at all, and I think I got maybe something. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And I think this is it for today, so I'm gonna head home. I have to actually get some work done. I am uh, working uh, right now, full time. Um, and of course, I can't complain. I'm working remotely from another country uh, in, a, in a beautiful place like this. Uh, my place is just on the outskirts of, of the forest. So, uh, yeah, can't complain. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get some work done, but I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this forest adventure, and I will see you again soon.